What are you looking for? Ash, it's just a bag of weed. No worries, I have Koki and Benzos too on a tree these. Oh man, you're alright. Happy enough with that. And sure, a bit of weed never harms anyone. Is it really no harm? Do you know how buying a small amount of drugs can affect the bigger picture in your community? The drugs market is made up essentially of two distinct end-user groups, regular users and recreational users. Regular users would be those people who use drugs every day and would be a dependable, steady source of income for the supplier that keeps business going. Recreational users would take drugs on occasions, like the weekend out partying or at a social gathering. To understand how this works from a business perspective, let's take a look at a local pub. People who go to the pub daily, or on a regular basis, enable the publican to pay the rent, heat, light and staff wage bills. It's at the weekend, however, when the recreational drinkers come out and the publican makes the real money. Likewise with the drugs trade, it's at the weekend when the recreational users order their small bit of hash, cocaine, etc. that the real money is made. And it's this real money that attracts the serious violence. The profit made during the weekend ensures that a gang leader can continue to keep the weekly operation running and they will be determined to keep this lucrative business running by enforcing any means possible, up to and including murder, to protect their operation. The gang leaders will use people addicted to drugs and recreational users to deal drugs to feed their habits or to pay for their own drug use. In other words, many of the local dealers are local drug users wheeling and dealing in their own local area to people they know. The profit and loss aspect is where the most violence or threat of violence stems from, with the main emphasis being on the loss side. If drugs are lost, used, stolen or seized by Gardaí, they will still have to be paid for. Innocent immediate and extended family members of those who owe money for drugs are most often the target as the drug users will not have the money with which to repay the debt. This is where individuals, families and communities become victims. In order to collect money owed, young children, especially dealers' family members, have been known to be used in local areas to intimidate individuals and families. These methods are also used to intimidate those who are thought to be talking to the Gardaí or local authority. Methods such as demanding money with menace, physical assault and bullying, stealing, vandalism and property damage are used to intimidate and spread fear within the community. One small Dublin suburb, surveyed with a population of 2,922, 52% reported being the victim of crime or antisocial behaviour in a 12-month period, and a concerning 83% had witnessed crimes or antisocial behaviour in their communities over the same period. These incidents can have negative impacts on the community through the spread of fear, feelings of being helpless and isolated, reduced quality of life, and negative mental and physical health of residents. A once thriving, outgoing and happy community becomes the ultimate victim of the drugs trade. It is this descending fear that imposes the most corrosive aspect of intimidation on an individual, family or community. Silence. So the next time you purchase a small amount of drugs for yourself, if you believe a small amount is no harm, remember, it always harms someone. Think before you buy.